All right, so we are in Palmer's Park. It's a really beautiful area. This is in South. Relatively clean, except for some trash here and there. No trainers cannot help themselves. It's a nice windmill. I'm just gonna stop talking and allow the the natural songs to play. Maybe I'll comment here and Just going to check what this thing is. Looks like a pump. I don't know if it has any historic value. Now there are paths along here, so we're gonna look at the paths. This is what I was talking about with the trash. I don't know why people can't take their trash. I could pick up those squirrels. One is on the tree and one is on the ground. Many people are surprised that there are squirrels here, but it's, uh, they are actually common. Common in parks, I should say, not everywhere. See how they're jumping and moving up the tree. Um, let's follow the path. There's a, there's a specific path, so we don't have to go in this. I don't see the path. Go in this way. And I'm recording live. So. Let's see if we can cut across here. There's a children's um, play park there as well. So this is the path where you are walking. I'm not sure if this takes to go to dead end or if there's more stuff there, but we just exploring. Which way on the start? You wanna go this way or you wanna go around? I'm not um sure if this let's try it.
Morning. 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 Did I feel too bored here? I think the proper path is on this way, but this looks like one of those. Huh? The proper path, I believe, is on that way, but but this is also seems to be an impromptu. Just careful how you walk in here. As you can see in this video, I'm talking real time with my family. And the path here is a bit unique. People having a picnic and stuff. I like the roots of the tree. That's going on the And I'm sure you can pick up the sounds of the birds. A little raindrops on my head. We get into rain a bit, but it seems I'm not sure if that's a passing cloud or if it's a downpour it's coming from that way. Hmm. What do you think? No, but I mean about the rain. Do you think it's a passing cloud or? Yeah, we'll, we'll use the trees for shelter for anything. I'm here with my family, so I have to kind of be wary of the rain and the boys. Plus we had to go elsewhere after this park so we don't want to be drenched. Really rainy season so this should be full. I don't know why there's no water here. I'm going to show you how a uh, termite's nest that's taken over a tree. You see it there? And you can see the veins that it makes trails. And if I go close, maybe you might get to see it more. When you're walking up here, walk slow, right? Otherwise, you'll start to sweat a lot. This spot here is uphill. 
It's really nice and sheeted. Seems to be fairly well maintained, although this part of the grass needs to be cut. A good path for a walk in. It's an exercise because it goes up and down. Not sure how good it would be for jogging though. Yeah, you alright, sir? I'll take a little break. In no rush. You could come here in the shade. So you're not on your sun. You see there's drainage there for water to flow and despite the rain there's no stream there would be a little stream running down this reminds me of another hike that I did in um, Maryland I'm not sure which video is gonna come out first but it's called Soldier's Delight Personally, though I compared to um, forests in the states, all forests are a little more dynamic. At least in my opinion, because there's more to see in tropical forests than there is in North American forests. Now you can see how close we are to the road, eh? It's just right across it. So this park is actually surrounded by roads and on one side some residences. Here would be good for um, some kind of Easter egg hunt. 
some kind of games with the kids. I've seen a squirrel. I'm gonna check it out. While I wait for my family members to, to catch up. Oh, there it goes. It's a nice brown color, that one. Rich brown. Oh, he's just staying there. Yeah. No chance to record him. Huh? I know some people will feed them, but um, the only thing with feeding wild animals is they begin to believe that humans offer food, but not all humans want to give them food. Some will want to take them. Sometimes it's a disservice to feed them. As strange as that might sound. You probably can't pick it up from the um, camera unless maybe you're watching on a big screen but there are literally squirrels running up and down on the ground and on the trees I'll stay here a little bit and you can see if you can see them Only things you can also do when, you, when you're in a park like this, <coughs> excuse me, is just simply listen to the bird sounds. Unfortunately, we're close to the road, so it also picks up the uh, vehicles. But there's some really nice birds singing in the background. Now the path we are on seems to be a alternative path because really there's a asphalt path to the right of us that we could take and that I guess people can jog on and that's the path we but we are taking this one which I guess is the more challenging in the, in the way that it's, the ground is up and down and gives us a little bit more of inside the park. Plus there isn't as much shade in that um, walkway. Here's more shaded. And of course, to every beautiful area, you must have some trash. There's a really nice flower right there. Come on, Trinis. What's up with your trash? The trees here are quite large. Eh? I don't know if you can get an idea. Maybe I'll take in this one and can see versus the cars in the background. It's a pretty big tree. I have to let the hold the camera all the way up so I can see the top.
So this goes into an open area and you can see some of the residences on one side there. Around here is very good for um, having some picnics. We try to get down here early, but it's not always possible when you're coming from Port of Spain. So, the time now is 10.40 and it's a bit hot already for the day. Again, one of the reasons why we're taking a more shaded route. And the path still exists. I mean, I'm seeing the concrete mixed there. Maybe it'll take us back up, which is what it looks like it's doing. That's a very thick um, area there. And to show you how big it is, I'm going to let my son hold the camera. And I'm going to walk across there. Just so you can see just how big that is. Let's keep it right there. Don't move, don't move it. exactly what fruit this is if you all know has a nice sweet smell actually you can see it all on the ground and the tree above So we're going to follow this path again, following the blocks on the ground. And it looks at, like at some point this will take us back to the um, asphalt walk. <clears throat> and this actually takes us to a roadway. Now you could go you could go around here and it would take you to another side of the park. But we're just going to stay to the side of the car and follow this path back. Now those hanging things there, those are bird nests. And I've never seen so many clumped together like that before. 
too bad um, I don't have the ability to zoom here but that's really nice sometimes you'll see a bird come and fix it that's one right above me normally I'll walk with a, a longer pole you know, but you know, I don't know what to do that's as close as I can get to that You can see some more on that tree up ahead. I believe this plant here is good. Give off high discus flowers. I've not seen any. Oh, there's one. Very small. And not even full bloom. Not seen any others on it. I'm just gonna stop, go here a bit and show you how close we are to the roadway. Morning. There's somebody here selling corn. I'm just gonna take a picture of his corn. This is local corn or Canadian? Canadian. It's Canadian, not always better. Okay. And what's the price of a bag of this corn now? $25. It's $25 and you're getting four pieces of corn. Looking good. This road is the road we could take it back to San Fernando or to go the other way, we could, we could go to David. You want to get some corn? I want to put a, a trini mm. And this is a local currency Our money is very colorful Should be 25 here yeah. uh, We could just take this bag here Present on a bag for now. Thank you very much. I'll give you one of my. Um, is what you took? You can check me there. It's going to be pure food. I will take it on my time. This is the new cards that I give out in case you all don't know. They're handy. My wife is showing me something she got on her phone. I'm sure if we could pick that up, we're picking it up a bit. A worm crawling. Caterpillar. Caterpillar? Oh, it's a caterpillar. And I see him crawling. Eh? That doesn't sound very nature like. It's another hibiscus plant, I believe, but no flowers on it.
Do you know you put the um, cone in your bag? That's good. Jonah is carrying all our stuff on his back. Like these palm trees, they're very nice. They look like soldiers. These trees, they look like soldiers. Mm. That's a nice one. Yeah. A lot of the trees here look like they could use some pruning and some care because I've seen lots of termites nests and a lot of dying branches and stuff. If they're not cared for, they will collapse. I'm not sure what the um, hours of this park is, but I see lights, so I guess there is activity here. Um, if you have been to this park at night, you can always tell me in the comments area what it's like. But this is a really nice place. And somebody put a sign there, religious sign. What do you think? Legal or illegal to do that? And look at that bird on the branch. I don't know if you can pick it up. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Yellow breasted something. I'm no bird expert, but it's very beautiful. Let's go. You can see those plants that put on the branches also create a flower. And you can see how the path of the park also follows the road. So, another sign, this one is a definite advertisement, but then, you know, if you do that, people will say, why not have Hindu signs or Muslim-based signs or whatever. Ground is cracking up here a bit. That usually happens when the earth shifts. Which is something common in the south. 
and I don't know if vehicles pass here it certainly is big enough for vehicles to pass but that could also cause it you can see San Fernando Hill in the distance That's another place I wanted to go to San Fernando Hill. <laughs> I was just saying I wanted to go to San Fernando Hill and my wife says nothing much to see there. Well, maybe there itself, but the scenery on a nice day might be nice to take me. I'll make a good shot. Yeah, you have to hike up. And I don't, I'm not sure if everybody can handle that. But again, you can see it in the distance there. That's San Fernando Hill. In fact, you can see a good bit of the area there. If I go forward, it's a nice shot. There's some fancy houses there. How you feeling, sir? Good? The fence that um, protects the park or sets its boundaries it certainly needs to be fixed. One thing I think they could do here too is have a more flowering plants. Not sure if by not having that is with purpose, but that's my opinion. I was just about to say it'd be nice also to have some plaques with the names of the trees but this particular tree it does have a plaque with a name on it Tick. so this is a teak tree Tick. what do you use to make furniture?
get a good overview of the park there. Black tree need a black bird in the distance, but I don't know if you could see it. With a long tail. Yes. There's some nice colorful birds. This area will be really good for exercising. Yes, that's what it is. And there's another um, plant with a name. The teddy bear palm. Flowering plant. This pine trees. Cones are very small. You can see them there. And you can also see how close we are to the road. Somebody is calling me. Call this place. Hello? Yeah? Oh, you see my people? Um, yeah, you're inside the park and you're walking around. So, just look out for us. That's uh, my friend, Marie, that you saw in the video. She did a video. And I'm seeing a tire. I don't know how we missed that tire. That you could swing on. And here's a, here's a specific caterpillar. I've seen it before, it's very colorful, but I believe it's also poisonous. So I'm going to take a look at it. In the distance, I'm seeing um, a tire there. It could swing on. I don't know. Probably because we weren't on the um, proper path. We couldn't see it. This is where we came from.
can see how busy it is here on this section. Lots of traffic, people selling stuff and whatnot. Closer to where we originated from. I'm seeing a, a memorial to this lady who unfortunately met her demise due to a vicious crime and it seems like they put this here in remembrance of her. I guess they actually put this as a memorial for a few people. It's a nice flowering plant. Another nice big bean fried. Now if this is the same plant I remember, you can actually take this and eat it. And open up the pods and you can eat the inside. This part of the park, oh, we have a neighborhood cat. Okay, so I just met my friends. We're going towards back to my truck, but I wanted to capture this little area of this before I um, head away. This, this part here is like the entrance to everything. And I'm going to see the statue of this cricketer, whomever he is. Sonir Ramadan Way before my time This is him And this is The history of it And that's the uh, background And this is the general area of everything. Somebody painted a stone. So we're heading back to our truck now. And that's it for this tree's farmer's park. Thank you. 